Alright, so we're standing behind the 9870 John Deere Combine and I want to spend just a few minutes here with you uh, discussing the importance of residue management at the back of the combine with a straw chopper. I'd like to draw your attention to these uh, four photos just showing different challenges as a result of not being able to spread residue. So I'm not picking on any brand or type of combine within a series but this combine as you can see is not spreading residue evenly across the head of width. And the net result is you've got heavy concentrated bands of residue and then you've got regions with no residue at all. So regardless of what seeding equipment you run, if you're trying to set a seeder to seed into heavy residue compared to no residue, then it's just going to give you a lot of challenges. And that's, that's basically the importance of residue management. Successful no-till or conventional till either one absolutely starts with uniform delivery of residue out of the back of the combine across the width of the, of the header, okay? So that's where it starts. So, I'd like to start out, this is a ready cut chopper, okay? This is what we call the MAV Plus or the, uh, or the new MAV with a large diameter rotor. This chopper combination is designed to spread around 35, 36, 37 feet. The combine that we're standing behind has a 36 foot platform on it, so this chopper will do a pretty good job spreading evenly, and that's important too, the word evenly, but it's important to spread evenly across the head of width. So, a couple of other things. It's really important on the John Deere STS machines to be sure that you're delivering material evenly into the chopper. So if you go into the chopper itself, you look at the, the wear on the stationary knives, the retractable knives, and if you find one end or the center or the other end has got more wear on the stationary knives than the other center or other end, then that gives you a good indication that for whatever reason, a combine like this is delivering more material one side or the other, okay? The other combine that I'll mention in a minute is delivering more to one end. So it's important to know how to adjust the residue on any combine so it feeds evenly into the chopper. If you can feed residue even, evenly into the chopper, you're not going to overload one end compared to the other and it will get you more uniform residue distribution out of the back. On an STS machine, especially the 70 series, you have adjustable veins, what we call discharge veins, inside the machine. That basically positions or directs the residue into one side, the center, the other side, or wherever you want to direct it to get even distribution into the chopper. On the ready cut machines, uh, you've also got what we call an adjustable tailboard where you can raise or lower the tailboard. Obviously, as you raise the tailboard, it spreads wider. As you lower the tailboard, it concentrates the spread width into a narrow area. So this is a nice feature. If you make something that's easy to adjust, there's a good chance that people are going to adjust it. By contrast, some of the factory models, it takes wrenches, sockets, sometimes modifications to get it to spread the way you want it. If it's going to take a lot of time with wrenches to make these changes, the chances are some of the operators probably aren't going to take that time. So yeah, a lot of things, but adjusting the tailboard, adjusting the direction of residue flow into the chopper are two real important points to spread residue better with a chopper such as this. Alright, so we're standing behind a 9870 in this example with a standard chopper tailboard. So this is obviously not the advanced power cast, not the uh, standard power cast, it's just a standard uh, tailboard and in my opinion in most conditions, most crops, most moisture conditions this tailboard is good for 30 to 35 feet spread width depending on certain factors okay so 30 to 35 feet and there's some other things that we can talk about later on to get it out wider this chopper has got 40 stationary knives that measure an inch and a quarter apart the ready cut that we showed a few minutes ago has 48 stationary knives an inch apart uh, so you get a slightly finer chop with the ready cut compared to this one. And if you want to chop residue fine, then the tighter knife, knife spacing is obviously important. But don't, I don't like to cut residue too fine because the finer you chop residue, the more difficult it is to spread it. Now on an SDS machine, you're obviously blending chaff with residue, which is a big positive because it's really hard to spread chaff. So if you can blend for example, wheat, wheat chaff in with 
wheat straw, leave the chop length a little longer by retracting the stationary knives, you can spread chaff and the straw together across the working width better than separately trying to spread straw and separately trying to, trying to spread chaff. So not a bad system, but if you want to get out to wider widths, if you need the power cast or the advanced power cast, which does even better than the power cast.